Hi, it's Angie from Wonder Woman Adventures, and we've got two old people in a 22-foot class B and discover the best-kept secret in Alabama. And, hint, it's Swiss. Swiss in Alabama. So, again, I'm Angie. I'm one of the old people. And we are traveling in a 22-foot just very small for two old people um, through the country. And if you'd like to check us out, you can do that on Facebook at Wonder Woman Adventures. Just search it and you will find two old people making it through the country in a very small RV. But anyway, what I want to talk to you today about that's in Alabama is this beautiful piece of property. This is Wills Creek Vineyard. It's in Duck Springs, Alabama, and it's absolutely stunning. It was our very first harvest host on this 12-week trip across the country, and it has just the funniest story attached to all of it. We were only driving three hours into Alabama, but by the time we got there, we were already kind of tired, you know, and so we thought, well, let's just chill out and, and go ahead and go to sleep. So when we did, the um, owner of the vineyard came out to meet us, and this is the gorgeous event space that's very close to his back porch, and he said, how about come on the porch and let's have a um, glass of wine? which I thought, sure, that sounds like a wonderful idea. So we left Wonder Woman. This is her. She's in the field. She, this is actually the Harvest Host site. So if you decide to go to Wills Creek Vineyard, you will be parking right here. And so there are, just so you know, there's no amps. Um, there are no hookups. There's no septic. So you're either running a generator or you're, you know, doing something else, but that's the only way you're going to get electricity there. Now, I don't know if he provides that, and that's just something that we didn't take advantage of. Like I said, this was our very first harvest host, so we weren't entirely accustomed to the process, so you might want to check with them. But this is the site, which is absolutely beautiful. So we left the left our RV and we went and sat on the porch and um, this beautiful view met us. Also, we had breakfast here. And as we were sitting on the porch, we had a wine called Cupid's Nectar. And we had a wine called Heaven's Delight. And both of those were special runs from the winery. And they were also with hints of chocolate. So one was had like chocolate and cherry and one had hints of white chocolate. And um, they were very, very good. And so as we're sitting out there on the porch and having more glasses of wine than I realized, um, we talked and talked and talked. And just so you know, this picture, this is the lake beside the winery. So the vineyard is in a separate location than the winery. So if you go to Harvest Host, you'll get the directions and the GPS took us to the vineyard where we were going to park. And then the next day, we went on to the winery and had um, we bought a bottle of wine there. They also have a really great gift shop. And there were some food items there as well, if you don't necessarily want to buy wine. They have um, wine tastings, specialty items. They also have a Sunday brunch that looked so yummy. And you'll have to check for times on that. But at this, that moment, it was like um, till 1 p.m. is when they stopped serving on the brunch. And reservations are required. So things you might want to know about is that 
um, getting into the driveway. They've had a couple of issues, I think, with larger RVs trying to get in that driveway. So there may be a way to, that you'll want to read on the harvest host about coming in a certain certain way. We didn't have a problem because, again, we're in the little micro mini. We're in the little babe over here. So she really wasn't an issue getting in the driveway. And then it was super easy to just back her up into this size, into this site. I know many times they have hosted larger um, RVs, the Class A's, that kind of thing. But again, with the Class B, it's not something that we have to worry about as much. So you want to check with that. Then again, so just to reiterate, there's not going to be hookups that I know of. And then also the winery and the vineyard are in two separate places. So, And the vineyard that you stay at is by their house. And so that's why we got to sit outside and have that wonderful breakfast um, that, that we had brought. And then drove over to the vineyard. So here is um, a picture of one of the wines that I bought. This is the um, Noculula, I believe that's how you say that, Noculula Falls and the Plunging Princess. So this was also a fabulous wine that I purchased. It has some, um, well, I'm not sure what the tones are on this, so I don't want to tell you wrong. Um, the Wills Creek Vineyards, they produce 2,000 cases annually of wine, and it is a um, family-owned business. Now, I was going to tell you, remember, about the best-kept secret in Alabama is Swiss. So, remember that. And Wills Creek's Vineyard is not in Switzerland, um, nor is there one Swiss it's yet very youngy in Alabama. But so remember, hold that thought. I was going to tell you about that. Um, so let me tell you the story of the Noculola Falls and the Plunging Princess. If you go there, there is a statue of the Plunging Princess. It's the only statue ever made of somebody jumping off a cliff, which does sound a little different. And, um, the story goes that she was an Indian maiden and she had her one true love of an Indian warrior. And of course the chief didn't approve and he was forcing her to marry someone else. And so the morning of the wedding, they, um, she slipped off to the falls herself. And when everybody was watching, she jumped off because she couldn't be with her love. And that is the story of the Plunging Princess at Naki, Nakulula Falls. So, once again, let's take a beautiful look at this vineyard and event center. That you, They have weddings there. They have parties. They have anniversaries, receptions. It's just a lovely location for any of that. Romance is blooming so, you know, take the Harvest Host trip and maybe have an anniversary or um, a little romantic getaway because this is just a um, lovely area in peace and quiet. There's nothing, nothing going on around there to interrupt your respite. So, two old people in a 22-foot RV discover the best kept secret in Alabama and it's Swiss. So what is it? What is the Swiss connection to the best kept secret in Alabama? Well, that is easily Jean and Janie. Jean over here on the left picture is from Switzerland and he is the owner of Wills Creek Vineyard. And he is from the Rhone Valley in Switzerland. And man, he has some wonderful, wonderful stories. We had so much fun sitting on his back porch, drinking these wonderful Heaven's Delight, as you see here, and Cupid's Nectar here. And then here's the one I bought the next day. But here's John. And John 
is the best kept secret in Alabama because he is um, a great storyteller. He's pivotal in his community. He is passionate about wine. And if you can go by and see him, you will not regret it. You'll love the stories. You may drink a little too much, which is what happened to me. After we opened up the second bottle, I was so glad that Wonder Woman camper was about 20 feet away. If it was 30 feet away, might not have made it. So 20 feet. Yes, I was thankful. And uh, we didn't even start the generator because at that moment, all we needed to do was face plant because I don't drink a lot of wine. So I thought, well, that's an interesting way to start off this experience across the United States is by having a little bit too much wine on the very first day. Can you have a little bit of too much wine? But anyway, best kept secret in Alabama is this wonderful vineyard to park your RV and Jean. Jean and Janie, both great people, wonderful people. Go support them. Go great to have some great wine, some good food in beautiful location. Win, win for you, win for them. And if you ever get a chance to do the Harvest Host there and listen to Jean's stories, you're just going to love it. He has such a neat background. So we loved every second. And it was just the greatest way to start off our adventure. And speaking of our adventure, if you want to follow more of it, you can do that on Facebook at Wonder Woman Adventures. There's um, a lot of posts there as we are traveling across. And also on this um, YouTube channel, if you want to subscribe, I would love it. And that way you would get updates about other best kept secrets. There's a best kept secret in Indiana, by the way. So this best kept secret is Swiss. He's from Switzerland. And you need to go check out John and Jamie. You won't regret it. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed this review of Wills Creek Vineyard in Duck Springs, Alabama. Thanks so much.